All right, YouTube, I'm back. It's your boy Play. Y'all see what's going on? Like, comment, subscribe. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna keep it real transparent with y'all, man. I've been dealing with it since last summer, and um, y'all just go look it up. Basically, I'm gonna tell y'all the meaning, short meaning. But basically, when I read, it's basically that it's like you, you're focused on your flaws, and I was, I'm gonna just say, I was focused on. Yeah, basically, I was focused on my flaws more than, like, focusing on my gains. Like I said, y'all don't beat me up. I been said I was going to drop the video about my body transformation. I didn't do it, but since I'm still breathing, I won't be saying it again without, with it not being posted. So, um, yeah, y'all stay tuned for that. I'm on the trail, get my steps in because that's what I gotta do. Summer is approaching, if y'all don't know. But yeah, I'm on the trail, man. I'm on the trail. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'm gonna show y'all my step count too. I don't know where I'm gonna put, let me walk past this person real quick. And I'm gonna give y'all my step count for the day. I gotta do that. I don't know what it is, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, but I be see the folks. I be so nervous, man. I be nervous when I be recording and people be by me. I don't really, I don't rock with it. But um, yeah. So let me be keep it all the way straight with y'all. Like I was like. I was hitting the gym five, six days a week. And I don't know, man, I was just focused on, man, I was focused on my flaws too much, y'all. Like last summer, man, I was at my peak. I was at my peak. And I'm not gonna be on here complaining and shit because I know some people probably like, your shape right now all that bad. It's not all that bad, you know? And I appreciate that. It's like, but we all, you know what I'm saying? We all be having insecurities about ourselves and flaws about ourselves. My flaw is that I like to have a lean stomach, a very lean stomach, not too lean, but I just like being lean in my midsection area, you know, and I just feel some kind of way since I seen my midsection, my midsection, how I wanted to last summer. And the fact that it's not like that, how it is right now, it's a little, it's not a little, it's, um, it's unpleasing. I don't like it at all and so lately not like well for the past couple months i've been trying to figure out what's going on and one day i just stumbled across the word body this body dysmorphia see i about messed that word up you know but um y'all don't pay attention to my pimple on my face neither you know it's, it's life y'all know how this go So I looked it up, I got the meaning, and it's like, that's literally what was happening. Like I was at my goals, I was at my body goal, body weight, everything was right, right? And I was focused on my flaws still, instead of being happy and appreciating every single gain, every single ab that I seen. I don't even know number wise, like I don't even have a scale now. But if I had to guess, I was, I'd probably guess that I'm In one, in the 160s, that's all I'm gonna say. But my dream, well, and my goal was last summer, I hit my goal. My goal was, what, 155, 154. I wanted to be in that range, like the 150 range, but no higher than 155, that was my range because I just felt lean, I felt strong. Well, I still feel strong now, you know, but I haven't been hitting the gym, a commercial gym in a while. So I've been dealing with that. I've been hitting home workouts, you know, push-ups, calisthenics. Y'all know the type. Walking like right now, get my little small step count in. And I'm doing all right. Like I said, I'm gonna show y'all the step count right here. I'm gonna put the step count in. Yeah, I'm just putting it in right now. But my goal for the day is to get 10K steps. But I'm gonna put my goal right here whenever I'm done with this um, video. And after I'm done after this walk, I'm not gonna end it. 
and show y'all like the end goal of the steps. But y'all, you, you catch my drift. I want to hit that 10K. And yeah, it's your boy. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, play by play. Make sure y'all getting y'all steps in. It's feeling good out here, man. That's how you, the way it's feeling. I just know summer coming. I just know summer coming. And y'all see what I'm doing, man. I'm, I got to get my steps in, man. Because summer going to be right here. And them ladies going to be searching for the midsections. They going to be searching. They going to be searching for the abs, G. Ladies, too. Ladies want to have their little stomach. Ladies be like having their stomach cut up, too. But I don't really like all that. You can have a little couple, but I don't know. I like being ripped up. I'm going to show y'all the picture, too, so y'all know what I'm saying. So y'all know, like... I'm gonna show y'all my body before. And I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna show you my body to what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have that on the thumbnail too. And I'm gonna show you my current body weight with like about a month ago or something. And y'all just comment down below. I ain't gonna lie, it's been something that I haven't been talking about because you know, we men, so men ain't really we're not real. I ain't gonna say we're not allowed to express our feelings, but we, you know what I'm saying? We get looked down upon when we do. And it's a lot of men that deal with this, I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? You used to your body being cut up. You used to benching 275, you know, shit like that. And you might get, ain't no mic, well, yeah, you might get discouraged when you're not at your peak, you feel like. And me personally, since the summer, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I haven't been feeling like myself because I haven't been cut up in the places I wanna be cut up in. And when I was cut up in those areas, I was so focused on flaws, I let it float right past me. So I know this time I get down to my goal, I'm, be, I'm appreciative of every gain, everything. And basically I'm making this video to let y'all know like, body dysmorphia, that shit is real. Like, focusing on flaws instead of focusing on gains, that's, that, we just need to flip it around. Now, if I would've been appreciating all them gains, I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure I would still had a, a figure that I had last summer. But my weight went up. I went up in weight, of course. I feel like I haven't lost any muscle for real. I probably did lose a little bit. My bad if y'all can't really see me. Like I said, man, y'all see, man, man. It's changed. It's gonna be something before y'all know it. So make sure y'all get your steps in and all that. My arm getting tired holding this up. But um Yeah, so I'm just staying focused and I'm opening y'all, you know what I'm saying? Basically opening the door up so y'all could get a sneak peek of what I've been going through. And I know it's a little off topic about usually about other stuff I'll be talking about, but I just feel like I just need to let y'all know like Man, it be wild, man. But y'all see the before. And I'm gonna show you the um my current. Yeah, man. I need to weigh myself to be honest, but this for the gentlemen and the ladies. Let let's try to focus on gains. I don't care if you're 400 pounds. If you see some progress within that week and you drop a pound or two pounds, whatever your goal is, bro, be appreciative about your gains. Even skinny people, whatever, everybody has their own insecurity. You would never know what other people we have going on in their head. You'll be thinking, even bodybuilders, you'll be thinking they feel so good with their body and in their head, they so focused on flaws. We need to stop being focused on flaws. And I gotta, you feel me? I gotta take my own words for that, but I'm human. It's, it's no excuses, but y'all like, comment, subscribe, it's your boy Play. And I'm focused on keeping my skin clear, man, because I don't like scars. That's why I still got this pimple right here. I don't I don't know if it turned to a scar. I don't even, bro, I don't even care at this point. It's just the fact I just want great habits. And I just feel some kind of way since I'm not at where I should be. But I, I will say this, last summer it was my fault because I went to California, if you don't know. If you know about that, that NSFW, my first time going to Cali, I had linked with a content creator. It was a little decent. Let me know if y'all want to story time on that. Y'all give me to 
120 likes. I give y'all story time about my worst trip to California. First trip being the worst trip. So yeah, y'all comment down below on that. But yeah, I was out there, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all how I lost it, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all how I lost my midsection. I lost my midsection because I tried to go to the gym. One time I tried to go to the gym and shit won't work. Now I'm on that bitch. Yeah, you two on back. I got distracted, man. I heard some folks in the woods. I'm a little jittery when I got that uh on me. You see what I'm saying? But y'all like, comment, subscribe. But let me go back to my story. Basically, ain't no basically. Like I said, say, y'all give me 120 likes if y'all want to hear story time about me in that California crazy story. I was out there for almost a month, close to a month, like three weeks. Could have stayed longer, but chose not to. If y'all want that story time, I need 120 likes on this video. Not gonna lie, story real just. Um, but yeah, this is how I lost my little midsection when I was working for all summer. That should be real when they say you could be working out all year and you skip the gym two weeks or something. I didn't believe it. I'm a firm believer now because y'all see what I'm doing. This is, this is what, seven months later from where I was at and um, y'all see what I'm doing. <laughs> You know, but moral of the story, bro, I was out there, bro. I tried to go to the gym one time. Then they said the person that I was staying with, they had to be in there with me because they didn't let guests come in there. Y'all know I'm from, I'm in the South. That's all I'm going to say. I'm in the South, you know, East Coast of the world. And, you know, I'm a guest, so I go to California. I'm thinking I'm just going to the gym like any other place. I go into the gym, you give me the little key code, wherever, you know, I'm in there. I'm, I'm thinking I'm in there. Them motherfuckers like hell no. Nah. So I was I was upset. I wasn't really mad, but no excuses. I just I stopped walking. I was walking a little bit, but I wasn't walking and doing like I wasn't walking as much as I needed to. I wasn't walking as much as I needed to. Yeah. Simple. I started just laying around all day. I'm in California, so you know it's 420 all day, every day. I'm smoking. I'm laying down. I'm not walking as much. I was just walking the whole dog. That's the most walking I was doing, if I'm not mistaken. I was just walking that whole dog. And I walked to like, I walked to a couple breakfast spots in the morning. That, that's the most I've done out there. Out of three weeks, I didn't do no work for real, as in fitness-wise. <clears throat> So, yeah, that was getting to me. And, yeah, and within those three weeks when I came back, man, I left. I was, like, 155, 156. Not going to lie, man. When I came back, bro, I was, like, 164. Then I was grinding when I came back. I was grinding when I came back for, like, what? Three, four months. This is at the end of 2023. Then I had got the little room. I'm blessed to have my own bed in the bathroom now. Y'all need story time on that. Y'all story time on that. Bruh. But then I had worked. Now I was at 164 when I came back. I was a little chunky. I like see my stomach. Really didn't like it. Then I knocked it back down. Then I knocked my weight back down to like 159, 160. But now I don't know where I'm at. I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to let y'all know. So we're going to do a. We're going to do a remake on this video soon, but hey, let me stop talking y'all head off. Y'all let me know if y'all enjoyed this. I hope you got up hitting your steps too. Let y'all know how many steps I'm hitting for the day. Um, but yeah, y'all like, comment, subscribe. 120 likes for the story time of the first slash disaster trip in California. But yes, your boy, play, boy, play. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the uh, next video. I'm on point, so y'all don't mind me. I'm just focused. Yeah, it's your boy Play. See y'all in the next video. I get to turn it around because I don't know, man. I don't really don't like walking on front roads and shit like that. I don't like being a main attention, a main attraction. Even if people not looking at me, I be feeling like it, you know? Y'all let me know. But yeah, y'all let me know for that story time. 120 likes and I'll make that story time. Hey. And y'all just comment on your comments. Y'all let me know what's up. And um, 
made it to the end of the video, but let's put, let's put gangs over flaws. If you made it to the end of the video, put gangs over flaws. That's it. And I'm seeing you next video. Support play. I'm out. See you in the next video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, plug or play two underscores. And don't forget that story time, 120 likes. Yeah, it's a banger. I'll tell you, a whole lot of juice shit. But yeah, put gains over flaws if you made it to the end. Have a great day. Get your steps in. See you in the next video.